So guys, today I wanted to have a quick chat about the Shoei GT Air 2. Uh, I've got the Senna SRL2 integrated into the helmet. As you know, uh, I moved away from the ADV helmet, the Bell MX-9 that I had, and uh, been using the GT Air 2 for quite some time. Really, really enjoy it. It's, um, oh, it's like it's a deluxe helmet. Um, the ventilation is exceptional, especially across the top here when you open that vent. Uh, the nose vent's also pretty good as well and uh, gets a lot of air uh, through the uh, through the helmet. Now, with the visor itself, I did use the visor a couple of times without the pin lock and um, certainly regretted that. The visor fogs up pretty quick, so installed that pin lock real quick smart. And then after a couple of weeks, got the Senna SRL2, which is fully integrated into the helmet, so I've got Bluetooth access. Now, back in the day when I was riding, and you're going to hear that a lot these days, uh, we didn't have Bluetooth devices, we didn't get to chat to each other, it was all hand signals, nodding, waving, you name it. And now you can actually uh, connect with other riders, which is brilliant. The controls here aren't too bad, up on the left-hand side. They can be a touch fiddly, uh, from what I understand. I've never had one of the the wheel controls so this is my first in helmet set which uh, at the moment is working really well for me I'm quite happy with it the helmet itself uh, not as quiet as I thought it would be still have to wear earplugs if I'm doing a long run say if I'm doing a blast down to Sydney um, or I know I'm going to be out for a couple of hours and doing some higher speeds some like you know proper highway speeds um, but I don't mind that at all because it also gives me the opportunity to hear a lot with the speaker sound um, in the uh, in the center it's actually really really clear I'm extremely impressed with the quality of the sound coming out of the Bluetooth and the phone for uh, music I listen to a couple of um, a couple of podcasts and I'll just move myself over so you can see me properly uh, I do uh, listen to a couple of podcasts and they're really good to listen to on the uh, on the trips that are a little bit slower on the higher speed trips down the highway kind of lose a bit of sound with the um, with the earplugs that I've got. A um, couple of gripes with the helmet, maybe just one or two. The big one is the locking pin here. So if I've, um, when I lift the helmet up, and apologies for the wind, so as such, if you put it down, it doesn't lock. You've actually got to put a bit of force on the front of the helmet to lock that in. Now that has some pros and cons as well. It means that you can still um, kind of lift it up a bit nice and easy, get some air through if it does start getting a bit warm. Um, so that's quite handy to have but yeah the downside is if you want to lock it down for those highway speeds you just got to make sure you put some force on there now it's also got the integrated sun visor which is another thing that I was looking for in the helmet now this is a bonus because I've always hated having to change from a clear visor um, over to a dark visor depending on day or night when I'm riding so this has been fantastic however it does fog up really quick okay so um, you've got to have that cracked and that's one of the pros you've got to crack your lid a little bit and unless you get something proper to um, reduce the amount of fog that you're getting off the uh, sun visor um, so they're the two main gripes the locking latch here is very very easy to use to clip on and off it's got the emergency pull tabs um, underneath the chin so if you do have an accident and uh, the paramedics uh, need to rip that out real quick that's that's very easily done as well um, weighs in it's pretty light it was um, lighter than my adventure helmet here's the weight here and um, yeah so I found that to be really good on the long runs when I've used it on a couple of blasts down the Wiseman's Ferry I've been out for a few a few hours um, there's been no strain in the neck um, so that's been exceptional look wise I've got the matte black I love the look of it I think it looks fantastic and overall really really happy with the helmet so if you're looking for a new helmet now I bought this from Champion Helmets in Norway because the guys there had an epic sale and I saved 400 bucks Australian on the helmet which then allowed me to get the uh, the SRL 2 what price do you put on safety what price do you put on your head that's the question you need to ask yourself because you're going to pay top dollar for good quality and um, a higher level of safety okay so if you're looking for a new lid i certainly recommend the uh, showy gt air 2 with the center srl 2 integrated bluetooth very easy all plugs in um, 
can be a bit fiddly when you're in doing the install with some of the the cheek pads but look you can get there it's pretty easy to do okay just be patient with it um, the overall result uh, 10 out of 10 uh, love it really do love it so um, yeah go and get yourself a, a showy gtr2 the guys have done an epic job i love it great helmet guys well done anyhow if you like videos like this make sure you subscribe uh, give me a thumbs up um, like the videos join my uh, patreon page as well if you want to be part of the team and uh, we'll do some more gear reviews coming up pretty soon all right have a good one Uru for now